Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Banished. Welcome to episode 11 of my Banished series, I should say. Anyway, as you can remember from the last episode, we are having a bit of a food crisis yet again. And that's not the position that I wanted to be in at this stage. So I'm trying to work way around that right about now. And I'm thinking, we've got seven labourers, right, <coughs> excuse me, right here. So, what we could do is bump up the, the fishermen to f fully to 12, because now we have three fishing docks operating. We've got the one here, which now has four people working on it, as I've just bumped it up. We've got the one just in the centre of the, uh, uh, well, at the edge of the main town, there. And we have one a little further out over here, by the extra stockpile. I'm hoping that's going to help that's gonna make a start to all this problem that we're going through now what I could also do is add another farmer perhaps because um, I think having two laborers is is enough because I, I don't really think we've got too much going on right now I mean we've got this storage barn needing to be built but that's been done by the builder all the foundation work has already been done so we're not at a need of labourers at this point in time, so I guess all we have left to do is play and see what happens, hope for the best. So you can you can see here that we've only got one herbalist working here. I'm not even fussed. We've, we've, we're already over a herb limit, so we don't need people working there. What I really do need is people working and doing the food. That is just that's priority above everything else right now we were doing absolutely great and then as my town increased in size with the more with more people I didn't clearly I didn't increase the uh, the food source quickly enough so I'm hoping to address that now as you can see this storage barns nearly done that should optimize this area here because uh, well, I didn't really want them to be hunters, I wanted a fisherman near. So hopefully we do. Okay, we don't. That's not ideal, but hey, they're working over there anyway, so it's not too bad. What I'm hoping is they're just going to be fishing and put the fish into the storage barn and come back. And that will maximise our efficiency. That is the aim. Whether they do that, we'll see. As you can remember, I also added in a uh, another crop field over here so I'm hoping that now increased food source will help maybe it's gonna be enough we'll see anyway gonna add the path around hmm can't go all the way around that's a bit unfortunate yeah, it's a bit it's in a bit of an awkward place but oh well I guess if we have it trailing up to there, I'll be happy with that, because then in here we'll sneak in some houses in the future. Okay, oh, hang on. Merchant, merchant, let's pause. What have you got to offer us, good sir? Pecan seeds. That is expensive. For one, it costs 2500 That is so expensive. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's, there's no way that I can do that right now. I mean, I don't have enough anything, really. You can see what we're sort of resting on here. I, I can't. I can't trade that. That's, that's not very full. Nothing, none of my storage barns are full right now. And I cannot, I just can't afford to do that. Not, not in a million years, no. Right, so we'll dismiss that. It's a shame. Anyway, one year, I'm really hoping for a really awesome trade to come along, and we will snap up the deals. If we can get to that stage, it would be great. Okay, so unfortunately, a couple of our townspeople have died here. Two of them. Okay, none of them died from hunger. It's great. And, well, I guess two people have been born, so we're not exactly down on people. Our uh, uh, population of children is good, it's at 10, which it has been lower. So keeping that 
in mind is always always important. It really is. Okay, so yeah, so the people here are also gonna be storing things in the barn at all. It'll just help with their efficiency too. So happy with this. I'm really going to try and do anything I can now to to improve our food output. That's my priority here. I'm trying to think what else I could do. Do we need another gatherer? Maybe not. What we could do is have a separate gatherer though. Um okay so uh, uh quite a lot of children are being born. That's not ideal for the food. As you can see, we're up to 500, or we were momentarily, so it has improved a slight bit. I don't know. Over this way, we could put another gatherer's heart. That might be great. Herbalist. No, it's here. Gatherer's heart. I might be alright there. I don't know. We'll go with it. We'll go with it and we'll see. If we can get the path sorted out for that as well, that would be decent. Let's plonk this down. Okay, so that should now join up to the main path as well, once it is complete. Just just another bit of... Um, well, another way we can get our food in. As I, I can't stress enough how crucial it is for us right now to be getting that. I want to increase... Uh, maybe a farmers and the gatherers, but my problem is the laborers. We're down to two because I I put so many of them to do the fishing. I I feel like that's important though because fishing really is a good way of getting things done. What I might do is add a barn over here as well for this fishing hut because uh, well it's all about increasing the um, efficiency. That is the plan. Alright, so this is being built as we speak. So we've had another person die of old age. I think we're now at the point where it's going to be hard to grow our town more than this population wise because um, people are going to be dying of old age quite frequently. I mean, I'm not saying that children won't be born frequently because they will. Like, as soon as I put down a house, pretty much children will be born. But, uh,. Yeah, people are going to be dead. I mean, the guy named Colon died. If you remember back to one of the early episodes, he was actually born then. So, you can see how, well, quickly you go through the years and in this town and in this game. So, how are we doing over this end? How is this, this performing? Uh, decent, I guess. I'm not sure why it's collected leather, but there you go. So, they are using it. We're down to one labourer, not ideal, not ideal in the slightest. Okay, so we're going to go down to five farmers and four, and four gatherers. That is probably the best I can do at this point in time. We just really need some more people to become working adults, I guess. We are slightly in a better place with food now though, so, you know, I, I'm not going to be complaining too much about it really so so yeah so yeah okay so Robertus Robertus the mighty Robertus was born okay so that's excellent eh? people are pretty much doing what I want them to do I guess right now it's just gonna be quite a few stressful episodes of um, food monitoring I guess I'm afraid at the minute but what can you do we're surviving not quite thriving we have thrived a little bit. No! We have no labourers. That is... that's gonna be an issue, I can tell you that right now, but... well, it's starting, it's starting to work itself out anyway. Someone else has become a working labourer. Anyway, we're gonna have to carry on sorting that out in the next episode. I hope you did enjoy, and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, leave any feedback that you think I could use to improve my videos in the future. Thanks very much for watching, take care.